Planet Nine, Nibiru. I've been being asked a lot about that. Everyone's talking about the infamous Planet Nine that has just been discovered, and that being Nibiru, which Zachariah and Sinchin talked about, all right? The reason why I take an interest in this is because some of my earlier childhood experiences, when I was busy drilling my own guides where they were from, they would say things that were like light years so far out or sectors of space that didn't make sense. But they said, start with the uh, bases we have on the third and fourth planets outside of Pluto. And at that time, I was in about the fourth grade and there was no such thing. And I told them that, are you lying to me? There are no planets outside of Pluto. And he said, it doesn't matter. You won't understand that either because your technology has not found it yet. Now we have something called trans-Neptunian objects. The trans-Neptunian objects are actually another Kuiper belt outside of Pluto. All right, there's several of them outside objects that are larger than Pluto. Some being one named Sedna and one being named Eris. This new infamous Planet Nine that has been discovered is in the Kuiper Belt and it has what's a gravitational perturbance which is um, between Sedna and Eris. All right, so they believe it's a gaseous giant about the size of Neptune. This does not fit Zachariah and Sitchin's 12th planet, Nibiru, Planet X, all right, that is supposed to be in a 36,000 year, 3,600 year cycle around our solar system and around our planet, all right? Now, this new planet nine will, is in the Kuiper belt. It will not even come that close to Pluto. It will come nowhere near in our solar system or planet Earth. That's been proven by astronomers at this time. So this is another trans-Neptunian trans object that perhaps could have a base on there for contact, like some of these other objects, as I was told, but this doesn't fall in the parameters of being Zachariah Sitchin's Nibiru, or the famous 12th planet, Planet X. That's not what this is, I'm sorry. Although I do believe there is life in the Kuiper Belt, but we don't fully understand it. I appreciate you. Anyone's welcome to look this up. Don't take my word for it. Look up the research for yourself. Peace.